get started, yeah. Okay, you guys. Hi, welcome to our business binder workshop. And I am so glad you guys are with us. Uh, we have a few of you that are live and there's a few with us here in the room. Uh, so we are going to be showing you how to put this binder together. So hopefully you know have your binder. Feels like, yeah, we're gonna spend this out. I hear uh, your TV. Continue through here. Uh, what happened to this weird brand of mantle? So could you yeah, put yeah, pause? Yeah, I'm mostly excited to the kitchen. Thank you, honey. Okay, so you guys all have your binders? Show me your binders. <laughs> and then um, what we want to do is show you guys how to go through this and the reason for it. So with the binder, um, I want to kind of give you guys what goes in where because I know um, Susan's here and she's going to be putting hers together. Um, and then walking you through how to do it also. So Debbie's over here. Hi, Debbie. Hi. And Susan. Hi. <laughs> Hands in the air. There she is. Yeah. Waving like a Your sidekicks. <laughs> yes. And if you have your, your drink, cheers to you, ladies. This will be a great time together. Cheers. Um, but in your binder, I want to just go through real quick. The reason for this is because I want you to have business on the go. I want you to be able to take this. If you go to pick up the kids, if you're going um, – you know, to work, you can do this during lunch, you can do this on breaks, you can do this wherever you go because it has all of your host information in here to host coach, um, to get bookings, all of that information is in here for you. So in the, um, the cover, always put your recruiting information on the outside of the current month that we're in because that way it's a quick reference for you to kind of talk to everybody about it because that's really important. Um, and then on the inside, I want you to put your pencil pouch first. So you've got the pencil pouch here with your highlighters and highlighting just so that it, it kind of gives you the important things that you want to make sure you talk about. Um, a pencil. Um, pencil is really important because a lot of times when you're booking parties, you just kind of um, write it in and you always say, okay, I'm going to pencil you in. So that way when we go back to do our, um, our check-in to make sure that our um, confirmation that that date is going to work for you, I can then ink you in. But that way a pencil is something that you're going to be using to take in notes on and to put into your calendar. Um, post-it notes because that way if you're host coaching um, you have someone on here and you needed to take them and uh, do a note on here that you know they're gluten-free or they're whatever so that way you have a little sticky note that you can go in and then research recipes or something to take extra notes on your sheets for them so that's one thing that a little sticky notes gonna be good for um, and just for reference for today I did these post-it notes as my tab but with the tabs, this is going to come off really easy. So I want to show you a different way because once you have these things in page protectors, see the page protectors? Once those are in your binder, they stick out too far for your dividers to actually stick out. <laughs> so these little guys, can you see what these are? These are little um, tabs that you can peel apart and stick on the outside of a, of a page protector. So that way you can write on here whatever that section is and then stick on the outside of the page protector. So as you're flipping through pages, it's going to stick out and you'll see it and it won't come off. So that way, unless you want it to come off and then it's a little bit of a tougher pull, but it stays. So in the meantime, I have done these things so that I can help you find things easy. Okay. So everybody ready to get going? Yes. Yeah. Everybody's muted. Okay, so wave your hands for those that I see. Oh, yay, Donna. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Allie. Okay, so now after you've got your pencil pouch, I did. I went to Home Depot. <laughs> I love Home Depot, by the way. And I use my little printer card when I get prints. But these little um, pockets, what are these things called? Pencil pouches, I guess. These were a penny. <laughs> so I got a couple of them. So I have one that's for my pencil, my highlighters, all that stuff that I need for that and my pen. And the second one is going to be for um, your door price slips. Because in that way, you have people you want to follow up with, those kind of things. These are going to be a good place that's zippered close so they don't fall out. Um, and that's going to be something that you can utilize is an extra pouch that I didn't say, but I was going through today and I thought, hmm, good idea. So pencil pouch for your um, door price slips. Okay, so after that, um, the which kit fits you. Do you guys, this is one of those that you can print off from the website. I'm gonna actually pull it out. So the which one fits you. And on the other side, it has the kit content. 
because on the front cover, you've got your specials for the recruiting special on the front. Right when you open it up, you've got the kit. So today I'm not going to go into much about recruiting or bookings, but just today is just putting stuff in your binder. But I know a little side note, my best book, uh, recruiting tip is ask everybody, which kit do you like the best? That's it. Let them pick like, ooh, I like the big one. Then you go into recruiting. So that is getting a lot of people excited to know more about that. Okay, after that one, so that's on the front, um, because I want everybody focusing on recruiting to help people. That's the best way we can help people is to help them make money. And then um, this is going to go last. Then you're going to be doing your specials. So we've got um, September, October. So September has the host special on one side, guest special on the other. So that way you've got your months quick to, to glance at. So September, October, November. And, and once September's over, pull it out, get the um, December printed, and just keep these refilling as the year goes through. So that goes through. And then after that one, I want you to put your calendar. I could not find a cheap one. The, you know, the ones that are like the dollar, to dollar store ones that are cheapy. I looked at 99 cent store, I looked at Dollar Tree and I couldn't find them. I found this one, it's not that great, but it works. So it was this guy for a dollar and it just was each month and it was a perforated one and it came in this hard plastic sheet protector. So I took it out of that and then I, I printed it, I put it on our page today the one that has the year at a glance, and it starts with August. Um, so that one, because when we get to the one through 31 and how to do our um, post coaching, you're gonna wanna backtrack um, weeks. So this is gonna give you a quicker backtrack so that you can see when you're gonna date these. So this will be important in a minute, but I just wanted you guys to have that at a quick look. Um, and then the calendar will go behind that. And so I put that right behind it monthly calendar so then that way it's a quick reference for what dates I have available for my shows. So um, with your calendar, whichever one you use, you can even print from um, just Google, uh, what are they called, this calendars and put your pages in there. Um, you could do three, four, five months at a time and then bring those new as you print more months. You could always do those and that's pretty inexpensive but you can put that in here instead of trying to go find a calendar if you couldn't find one. After that is going to go your 1 through 31 tabs. Uh, so I got the color ones like these. And a tip for you guys, for those that are watching and haven't got your labels yet, I went to Office Depot. And, and if you haven't opened them, you can maybe go get this. But the Avery. Um, yeah. So I went and I got the, I went on to HomeDepot.com and I looked at their 1 through 31 labels. And that's what these are, 11129. And right now, they are $6.29.39. And so when you buy two, you get one free. So these are really good. Um, $6.29 is the cheapest you're gonna find for these good ones, because you just went and bought some Debbie. They were 10 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, $10. So if you haven't opened it, take it back. And then that way, take them the, um, have them look it up on their own website, and the price match. So she's going to take hers back. So if you haven't got them yet, do that quickly so that you can get them before they go off sale. Okay, so 1 through 31 is there. And then next, we're going to be giving you guys the checklist. So these are the ones. Um, what are these titles? I forgot what the titles in there. Post checklists, I think they're called. But this one is the one um, for the cooking shows. And so we're going to separate these by cooking show the live ones, and then the Facebook ones. So you've got those, okay. So print many of them. This you can have in um, green, I think was the one option color. What were the two colors? Was it green and blue or? Green and blue. So I still haven't printed them, and these were from before. So green is gonna be easy. Shelly, it's too close. This? Good job. Is that better? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, because I'm looking at myself and I'm like, <laughs> okay, so this one is the one that starts at the top. Show confirmation confirmation six weeks before show, and then it goes to dates to remember five weeks before show. So that one, I have all of mine in the page protector behind it, so I can pull them out and use them as we go. As we each booking that you get, each party gets one of those. So you're going to have many copies in there. Then after that one is going to be going your... Um, the one that has a yellow highlighter on it that starts with the six weeks before the show 
five weeks before the show because this is what you host coach with and what you um, send us emails with your phone calls. It's the exact verbiage you're going to say on your conversation. So that way you know you do a good job because it's all done for you. So that goes next. And then after that one um, is the Facebook one. And so a lot of you are doing Facebook. So I thought this is going to be good to help you. Um, this one is the one I just wrote Facebook on the outside of that one. But it's the one that starts um, once uh, booked friend host on Facebook and create show on consultants corner. CC is consultant corner when you see that. Show confirmation two weeks before. So this one has multiples inside it. And that is a Facebook one. Oh, yeah. And then the. Um, and then after that one goes the same yellow highlighted one that starts with two weeks before and goes forward. So that way they match up so you know what ones to put together. It says Business Finder Facebook System. So that's the one um, that you'll put behind the Facebook ones. Okay, onward, onward. Am I going too fast? If I'm going good, just thumbs up because most of you are all muted. You're good. I'm good. Thanks, Donna. Okay. And then. If, um, if you haven't printed them out yet, because uh, I posted like, I was like a crazy woman posting today, I'm sorry, but you can, post, you can print as you like, but I was finding things that are going to help you with post coaching, with um, bookings, with all kinds of things, so you have all of it in one spot, so print as you can, but the next one that I want to put is behind the Facebook one, it's called Full Service Checkout Facebook Parties. So with that one, it's just a one page, and that's on its own, there's nothing behind it, but so that one is... Um, you're, you're, once you close the party, it's calling people and doing your full service checkout. Because at your shows, you do them while you're there at the show. But once the party's over on a Facebook, you don't have them anymore. So now you can call them and use that script. Okay. So that's so far. Then, this is my own little, little bit here, is host packet. So what you put in a host packet. So as you're talking to your hosts, you want to kind of give them um, – have it in here what is in their packet so you can review that together with them. So the hard, you know, the, this one, the big card, these folders that they have for us, you can print these off. Um, and so I printed one, and it's a two-pager that I just put in here because this is exactly what um, is that folder. So I can review this with the hosts. And then after that, what goes in my host packet? So... Okay, the greatest little thing is in your new consultant kit. Where did we put that little guy? Oh, okay. For new people, keep this card. This is a card that comes in your box, in your starter kit, and it tells you what goes in a host packet. So this is a great visual reminder, so that way you'll have that. Um, I, I, I don't know that I put it on that page yet, but I'll put it there as soon as, I, as I'm done here. But it tells you how to pack party planning folder host packet. So, to this little bit, I add two more flyers. I add one about recruiting, a little bit more, um, because the Taste of Good Life, which is now it's called Life Tastes Great. So this is an older one, but this is the new one. So this goes in the host packet, and in that, some kind of recruiting flyer. This is one, there's like three that we have on our testing page. So there's this one um, that can go inside that, um, there's the commonly asked questions one. There's a few options, but that way, um, in the host packet, it gives them a little thing to read before you even talk to her because a lot of times people read and sometimes they don't. So it's good to have it so that you can refer them back to it. So that's why I want you to have all of this in your uh, binder so that way you can go through it with them because typically 98% maybe don't even read what's in their packet. They just pull out a catalog and order form and don't even look in there. So that's the one thing. And then the other thing is I kind of do like a, a host letter. Many options of host letters. Find which one you like. But I do the secrets to having a $1,000 show. That's the one I like. Um, and so that one gives them about the 515.5 formula, over and bite, um, outside orders, bookings, reminder call so that's all on here in a quick kind of bullet point looking versus a lot of writing verbiage a lot of people don't want to read so if there's bullet points or minimal reading they may look that over so these things are in here um and then after those and of course you know you don't need to put your postcard invitations if you give those but um the host specials you can put those in your host packet if you want i email them 
So that way, um, if I'm at a party and I have the copy, I'll give it to them. And if I don't, I'll email it to them. Um, and then, so this is going to be great. Put that in a page protector so you can have that as a, a visual reference. So next, next, post information checklist. This is right from the website. Um, so this one is the one the company does now. It's two-sided. The one that I personally like is the old school one. <laughs> it is the one that has what to say during each call. Oh, these, sorry. Um, it is your host coaching checklist. It's two pages also call one, two, three. And then at the top, it gives all the host information, call one, uh, review packet, and build excitement for the show. It's saying post. But right here, it's talking about a, a wish list. So it tells you what exactly to say when you get to the wish list. So this one is on there. Is that the one to print? Should I put it on? Did no. you put that one on Did the? Did put it on there? No. I haven't, I will. Okay, so I'll put that on there too. But I like this one because it gives you what to say. There's some things that I need to retype this because it's, I don't know if it's Word doc or PDF, but okay. there's a few things on here. I'm like, uh, opportunity. we don't have a Your Life, Your Way DVD anymore. <laughs> so some things are a little outdated, but this is good. This is bold. So that'll be on there for you. And then the next thing, first steps to cooking show, the guest list. This one I added today. First steps to cooking show guest list. And this is one that goes to your host. Um, you'll email this. Or you can um, put it in their packet. But thank you for scheduling um, an upcoming cooking show. I appreciate the kind invitation to your home and look forward to a great time on whatever date your party is. And it goes through, talks about personal invites, emails, Facebooks, uh, Facebook, and then it this happy answer. So this is a letter that you can put in your binder or email it later. So this is kind of like a cover letter. You can personalize per person and send it in a host packet, but I try to give my host packets away at my show. So I can't really personalize it when I give it to them at the party because I want to say postage. It's, the packet is like what? Six something? Yeah, six seventy. Six. Crazy. Six, six, six. So give it at your show or when you see them. If they live far, of course, the gas will cost more. So send it, but that's one thing. Um, another thing that is good for you to have in there, and I like it, recruiting power phrases. Did you guys see that today? The recruiting power? Okay. So, so cool. Because this is something new, exciting, and beneficial. So this is when you talk to your host. So every time you talk to her with your host coaching, pick a few that you can talk about at each conversation. Don't go through all of them but at, at one time. But you want to get through everything by the end of the conversation. Even at the show, you can choose some of these. But... This is something talking about recruiting the whole way through. So that way, by the end of the show, more than likely your host is either going to sign up before or after your show because this is going to really plant the seeds for them. So that's next because that's with post coaching. That's where we're still at is post coaching. Uh, so those are the things for host coaching. And now the next section that I want you guys to put together is, is our booking part. Um, because sometimes you're going to find days that you don't have anything to do on your 1 through 31. So when you don't have something to do, this next section is booking your first shows. So it's highlighted at the top, and that one at the bottom, it says booking at the show. So those are the one things that when you're out and about, you know, and you just need a booking, you can pull through your door price list that you have in the zipper pouch and make those phone calls. So that's the thing that you can do for the bookings. And then after that one, um, because when you are doing bookings, people are going to have common booking objections and responses. So this is the next page that you want to have in there. You want to be prepared because if someone says, I don't have enough room, you're like, so that way you give responses to that. Ways you can, you, can, you know, always co-host with a friend. You can um, use a common room in an apartment building like where we're in now. And you can do a catalog show. You can do it at church. You could do it at a library party. Um, workplace parties, tailgate parties, Facebook parties. So this gives different options if they feel that way. And it gives you great things because a lot of times when people say no to something, you can find out why. So that is going to help you with that. Lots of different objections. Um, I'm too busy. Not Nobody will come. I don't do parties. I have everything. I like that one because they don't. <laughs> um, I don't cook. So those are the ones that give you the verbiage on answering them. And then the next one is... Um, responding to objections um, this is more so I, I'm so busy everyone's on vacation or everyone I know is at is at 
this show. Uh, I don't know enough people to invite. And then the other side is I don't want to ask my friends over to buy something. My house is really small. Um, and there's others. So this gives you a way that you're going to respond to them because just saying, oh, that's not true. We can find a way to make that work for you. That isn't very, uh, what's the word? Um, caring. I don't know what the word is. But what you want to do is use the care. <laughs> Care from, uh, is the care method. It's B is for check for understanding. A is acknowledge feelings. R is respond with clarification, um, the clarifying questions. And E is extend the invitation again. So you go through their feelings about why they don't or understand, you know, um, if they say, let's, let's just do an example real quick. Um, I'm too busy. It sounds like you've got a lot going on. Is this month especially busy? And so you're checking for understanding and then acknowledge, I'm sure it's hard to think about adding something else to your schedule. And they're going to say, yes. <laughs> so then respond with clarifying. So, you know, many of my hosts are busy, so I make it easy for them. Part of my service is to send the invitations for hosts and make the reminder, the phone calls too. Does that make hosting seem more appealing? Would you like to look at a few of my available dates? If the answer is still no, ask about a catalog or Facebook party. So that way it gives you that more sincere relationship that you really care about them and you're not just caring about getting a booking. So that's a good thing to have on hand. So when you get those answers, cause these are the typical, that's why they put them there. Um, and the next thing is I put a catalog in here just because a lot of times, um, with, a, with a host or with the guest, they're like, Oh, I want to get that one thing. It's just easy for me to already have a catalog in here. I just whole post whole, ugh, whole punched it. So I just stuck it in here. It fits well. Um, then the last thing is because, most all of you want that vacation. I know from the ones that are doing our leadership team. Hey, girls. Okay, we are going on a vacation together. Yes, we are. So, yes, Donna. So this one is the incentive trip that we're doing in 2016. So it gives you the achieve the trip for two, the Bahamas or Mexico. That's in here. And the other side gives you the breakdown on how um, the points work. So that's the earning period and all the information about that. And then on the back of your binder, you want to do your tracker for um, your trip. So I did my tracker and I colored it in. So then that way I know how close I am every month. I just went up and colored in more. And just so you guys know, I am $1,500 away from earning the Maya Rivera Mexico. So this month I earn it. Yay, Shelly. Where are we doing? Ah, see, you'll get it. You'll get it. Okay. So the, these are very exciting. That. They have our trackers for us. They've got this very achievable and you keep it in front of you and then you know you're going to achieve it if you're working toward it every day. So that is how the binder is put together. So now what I want to do is I want to teach you how to use it. So that is our next step now. So ready. You ready? Oh, wait. I forgot. In your host packet also goes, because it fell out, is your host credit coupon. What's it called? Kit credit coupon. This goes in your host coaching section, in your um, binder, um, host packet. That's what this one is, is your host packet. That goes in there. Because you wanna make sure that every host knows about the credit coupon as one of their first benefits of having the party. It's like the best savings they could ever get um, is to get the kit. That's in my host packet section. So, you ready to, to learn how to use this thing? Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to pull out one of your pages of our checklist. Pull one out because we're going to fill this out together so that you know how to fill one out and use it as a reference for future. Um, so the one that is show confirmation six weeks before the show. Um, dates to remember five weeks before the show. So pull one of these out. I'll give you a second. Grab one. And then who's not muted? Donna, are you muted? Can't tell. What? Oh, you're not muted. Yay. Okay. You want to go through this with me since she's the only one live? <laughs> I don't have it with me. I'm just watching. Uh, okay, you're watching. Okay. So you want to go through with me? Sure. Okay. Debbie's gonna do it with me. So get closer, Mummy. Okay. All right, everybody. So say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, so now what you're doing is you have been to a party cooking show and at your show you booked um you have a, a party now scheduled with susan okay hi hi that's our new host so when you're at the show you put the booking in the computer okay. and then when you put the booking in the computer it gives you the option to create it 
and to create the party in your um, shows. Yes. So click yes. So that means now the party has been created. Right. So that is actually one of the things that um, you want to make sure is done ahead of time is that that's ready to go. So once you have her created, then you're going to go home and pull one of these guys out. Okay. Um, so here's what you're going to do at the top of that thing. It says name, show date, booked from. Booked from is kind of important because especially when you're host coaching, you want to make sure that you're always including the past host with the booking okay. benefit because it's for both of them. And she booked because of her friend. She's probably more than likely trying to help her friend. Um, so always encouraging getting them there. So the past host is going to go in there her address, her email, and her phone. So all these things you could actually fill out at the show or when you get home. But having all that information um, is good. And I also put in my phone, this is just my little side note, is I go into my phone and I open up their date of their show. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna show you. Is I go to whatever date their show is on. So I have everything color coded. I don't know if you can see it, that was too bright. But anyways, everything's color coded. And then I take it and I open it and then I, to start a new event and I put their address and phone number in there and the show time and what type of show as much as I can because my phone like if I could glue it to my hand I would because <laughs> it's with me all the time and so that way when I'm driving or when I'm ready to go to a show I don't have to pull any paperwork out it's on my phone and I can do directions right from my phone so it gives me easier directional so my little side note so okay now that you've got yours out, hopefully Allie and Mary and Deanna, you guys have yours. Everybody watching live later or watching the recording later, do this though. Even though you're watching it um, later possibly, pull one out and do it along with us so that you have a, a reference to use later. Um, so when the show date, we're going to say the show is October 3rd. Just picking that date. Um, and so what you're going to do is... Um, Start at this, um, you're gonna work backwards. So, this is where that one page that has the year, I'm gonna pull oh, this off. Yeah. Right. That's where this is going to come in very, very helpful is right now. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you're gonna start with the first one, and it says show confirmation six weeks before the show. So, you're gonna look at October 3rd, okay, and then you're gonna go back six weeks. So, this is on a Monday, um, and then you're gonna go back one, two, three, four, five, six. So, what date is that on? August 22nd. August 22nd. So on that first line, the this side is not for check marks. This side of your paper is actually for dates okay. that you're going to send these things and call and do with all those things. So the first one's going to be August 22nd, and then you're going to go right to the dates to remember five weeks before that. What is that one? August 29th. August 29th. So write that in there, August 29th. And then packet call. That one is going to be four weeks before. Um, so that one is now on... September 5th. September 5th. Okay. And then the deliver packet. Oh, so you're doing. I'm doing the other one. Yeah, this one's the Facebook one. We're doing this one. Go ahead and oh. do. Do I have the wrong one? Yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, let me give her the right one. I'm so sorry. Okay. So let me give her this one. And then, um, so the deliver packet, I try to do them. Oh, look at me. <laughs> All right. So I try to do. Um, the deliver packet in person. So that way, if you need to deliver it or mail it, you would do it three to four weeks before the show date. And so if you um, have hit, already given it to them, you can just write down the date that you gave it to them. So if it's at a party, you can write down, I gave it to her September, whatever. So you know that you gave it to them. Um, then the next one, send before the show. This is an email from the website. So when you create the party and how it automatically creates when you're at the show. So that one, um, email from the website. So that one, if you guys don't know where that's at, we'll go through that another time. But for uh, for now, that's one that when you create the show, you can go to the email host, and then um, it's auto-populated information. You just send to the host okay. through, through, through my shows on the website, okay. and you create their show there. So that's the one it says from my um, website. That one is going to be done. Um, it doesn't have to. <laughs> huh. Oh. Upgrade to pro, it's $15. Oh my goodness, we have 10 minutes left. And then I'm gonna have you guys get on another one. I didn't realize I had a short amount of time. All right, I'm just gonna upgrade now. <laughs> That's gonna be 15 bucks to do this call. I'm like, oh, okay, wow. it'll get me. Okay, the time. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize it was, it was shorter, but okay. So now what you do is um, three weeks before the show is when you're going to, um, 
do the call one, but before you do the call, send the email from the website. So three weeks before the show is? September 12th. September 12th. Okay, so put September 12th there. And also do um, the send the before the show email from the website. Send it before you make that phone call. Um, let's see. Uh, the next one is set up Facebook event. If you are going to run a Facebook event along with a cooking show, that's where you can do both or leave that blank if you're not going to do a Facebook event with a cooking show. Um, so we're going to leave that blank for now. Um, and then the next one, two weeks before the show, you're going to invitation reminders. So that one is going to be two weeks before, which is going to be on the 19th of September. September 19th. Okay. And then the recipe choices. These you, you don't have to do early on because you want to try to get them to invite people because then later they can send another thing saying, oh my gosh, we're going to make this and this and this. It'll give them another reason to contact people. It's because now they know what recipe you're doing. So 10 days before the show, but you didn't count back that seven, eight, nine, 10. Sorry, with wrong one. Yeah, huh? <laughs> so that's seven, right? Right. Eight, nine. Oh, it is that one. That's right. Mm -hmm. So September 23rd okay. is 10 days before your recipe choices. And then when you do that, it says send ingredient list as soon as the recipe is picked. So that's also going to be on the 23rd or the next day, whatever is. Um, possible for you. But the one thing about that, I'm going to give a little side note here, is when you send the ingredients, if you're sending it from the website, and it's, a lot of times they give you like the list, but it says two garlic cloves pressed, and it says um, ch um, cheddar cheese, grated, divided, whatever. But it gives them what we're going to be doing at the show, not necessarily what we want them to buy. So when you do this, find the ingredients list and give it to them in the whole version. So okay. it's going to be... Um, Whole ingredients, not the prep. So it's going to be three cups of cheddar cheese. And then you can write in there, don't shred. Um, garlic, one bulb of garlic. So you can do it as whole ingredients versus the prep. And that way, I've been to shows before where I sent the recipe, didn't even clarify with them. And I get there and everything's in little prep bowls. It's all yeah. done for us. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But that way you just know you're going to be getting them done that way. Okay. So um, post my party. If you're doing the Facebook Post my party, um, sent share. Those are the things that you would be using to help you um, immensely. Um, so uh, let's see. There's a couple of people that are are new to this, and they've now used sent share or post my party, and they're like, "Oh my gosh!" Now I have time in my day, especially because once you have the party created, you could use that same format for every single party. Have you been using it? No. Okay, that was one. If you use post my party, I just learned. I just sent share. Okay. Do you know if on sent share you can? Um, share an outline with someone? No. I don't know either. I know. So I do know that on Post My Party you can. I can email you an outline. Um, and so that way you can have an outline from someone else already done. So then you can just use that one instead okay. of redoing. So that's a good thing on Post My Party. They're the same price, $10 a month. Mm -hmm. I believe on Post My Party you get a week <clears throat> free or two weeks free to try it. Um, so with Post My Party, you want to make sure to, um, to set that up on that day. That would be... Um, two weeks or a week before uh, the party. So if you're doing Facebook, it's a different outline. Um, this one is one that it was a while ago, but it had a lot of things for cooking shows that I thought was useful. But if you wanted to add those, they would be in there. So um, next is remind our guests four days before the show. Um, a lot of times you'll hear it say two days before the show, but four days because um, two days is kind of like last minute to rush rush for some people so um four days before um you could send a red stamp you um, do you guys know what red stamp is yes no. through text right yeah it's a text so you could go in there and one of the things you could do is you can um screenshot the um was it yeah so if you're create their party in the website then you go in there um, and click like you're the guest and the picture that shows up mm -hmm. screenshot that okay can you guys see this let's see um, I don't know if you can. Okay, we're going to put, oh, wait, maybe. Um, to the side. This is salad and sangria. And in the center, it has the verbiage of the party reminder information and um, sounds like a party to me. And so this is one that you would send as a text to the host so that she can then forward it to all her guests. And it's a reminder. So we'll post um, one or two of these on the um, business finder page so you get ideas, examples of what they could look like. But then that way... Um, Oh, I have to upgrade to pro. 
Okay. How do I upgrade to pro? I don't know. So, sorry. <laughs> I have to do this before he cuts me off. <laughs> I don't know how to upgrade Donna to pro. Oh, wait, it's back here. Donna sent you on. What'd she say? Um, I don't want to do a year. I'm going to just do it a month. Um, oh my gosh, I don't know how to do this. Uh, sorry, you guys. Tech, I have to get this in here real quick. So, <laughs> I love you all. Thank you. Um, what does that say? Is there a code? Oh, it's just another phone number. Oh, it's not a co coupon? No. Okay. Hold on. No, <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to go fast. I'm sorry. Kukamonga. And who's that? Oh, hey, hello for me. Let's see what she needs. Hello. Shelly, morning. you say hello? <laughs> yeah. What do you need? Okay, I need to put a credit card and then we're back to business. Oh, so give me a credit card. Okay. Hello? What you need? Hello? Okay. One, two, eight, six, seven, two, six, four. Tabs. Hello? It's not wanting to work. Hi. Hi. Well, kind of. Hi, honey. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Okay. We're going to, in the parking lot, go to the, oh. the brown door and we're going to let you in. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. So we're going to do it with that one. All right, you guys. <sighs> I think I'm good. <laughs> Subscribe. Oh my, 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 my. Click start your meeting now. I already started my meeting. Oh my gosh. No, I think this is fine. Let me go back. No, no. Where are we? We're still here. <gasps> okay, yay. <laughs> now we can go up for hours and hours. All right. <laughs> okay. Hey, guys. We are now down to the red stamp. So that one, you would do the, the stamp, and then you would go underneath that and... Um, in the actual message part, that's where you would do the, the party link, not in the actual post, um, the red stamp, because that way it's clickable when she forwards the text. Okay. They can click on the party. So that's when you send the red stamp as a reminder. Or she can call, or if you want to call for her, or uh, Facebook message, instant messaging, um, an email from the website, if they put all their emails into the party, they can do uh, reminders that way. So there's lots of different ways that they can Contact their, their guests to remind them. Um, then you've got the show date, which is, wait, and then you've got call number three, which is going to be one day before the show. So one day before the show is on October 2nd. Yep. Okay. So then you've got the show date, October 3rd. And then thank you one day after the show. So that would now be October 4th. Um, thank you. You can do this as also the same Facebook um, message, like okay. instant message. You can do it where if you're on the website, there's all the different pull downs. So you can do a thank you sent from there. You can do an email that is um, an email that you can send to everybody because now you have their email because they, are, they sent their order in. Mm -hmm. So you can now email everybody a thank you for coming. Um, close the show three days after the show. Don't go longer than that because the people that pre-ordered, you know, like for outside orders uh -huh. or at the show, now they have to wait forever. So three days after that's it, October 6th. And let them know when you book the party, when you're doing your first information, that they're closing that day. So it's an expectation. They're expecting it. It's not like, when do you want to close? And then they're like, next week. No. <laughs> so three days. And then after the show, email from the website. So this one is to the, sh the host. Um, the one that is after the show because when you send the one originally, when you book the show, you can actually cl click the button underneath it. It says after the show. And then it gives them, once you've closed it, it tells them the expected delivery date. It tells them um, 
how much they would have made as, the, as the, if they were a consultant. It gives all kinds of great verbiage. So that's something you just click and send, and it does it for you. It's great customer service. Um, after that, it's text to the host. This is going to be done one week after the show submitted. So one week after the show is going to be on the 10th. And so that one is the text, did everything come in okay? Question mark, send it to the host. Okay. And so that way, if she's like, um, no, something came broken, the stone came and it was cracked or whatever. And so you wanna make sure you get that done right away because you only get 30 days from when the host gets it to send it back um, so there's no shipping. So that's where the good text is gonna come in. And then three weeks after you submit the show, you're gonna do another text to the host and just making sure you love your products. This is actually, um, the out of the box, that script that they have, right. that's when you would use the out of the box script for your host. Um, so write that in there, out of the box. So now that you've got all this done, now what you do is you're going to go on August 22nd, because now that you've created the show that's in there, um, you're not gonna really do nothing to this until you get close to that day. So now you're gonna go in your one through 31, and you're gonna take and put and it doesn't need to be in a protective sheet because you're gonna have so many of these. Just put it, three hole punch it, okay? Three hole punch it and then put it in the first date that you're gonna do something, which is August 22nd. So you're gonna to go to your 22nd and you're gonna stick it in there. You know, open it up, stick it on the 22nd and now you're done for that party. Right, so easy. So now when you are Going through, you have something, if not, something's not there every day, the day that you have the blank, you open it up, there's nothing there. Don't take the day off. That's one thing. Don't take it off. Do a little bit of Pamper Chef every day to keep you going and keep you motivating. That's where you can open up to your booking tab, booking section of your binder, and you can make phone calls to people that you have door price slips for. Or you can do customer care calls, doing out-of-the-box calls for guests. Um, these are times that you don't have something for a host. You can still do it for your guests and keep customer service always going. But now that you are working this and you come to the 22nd, you're like, oh, I better talk to Susan. So now you're going to pull this out on the 22nd and you're going to go to six weeks before show confirmation. Now you're going to take, you're going to go to the list, the one that is with the yellow highlighting. This one that has six weeks before, five weeks before. Now you're gonna utilize this because it is now gonna work right along with all the dates that you have written on here. So six weeks before your show, it's the show confirmation because you booked this back in September. You wanna make sure that you are confirming that the show is still good before you get going into all your host coaching and everything with her. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna either do the confirmation by email, by Facebook message, by text, or Okay, this is old because it says postcard. <laughs> we used to have a postcard system that was in a little box and it was one through 31 this way and you would pull out a postcard and put a stamp on it and nail it. So that's the old boy. Now we're all high tech. <laughs> so now what you do is you're gonna now take, because this is on your computer, so copy, paste to an email or if you're on your phone, copy, paste it to a text. Um, Facebook message, you can copy and paste these, just change the name, change the date, change the information. So it says, um, it says, hi Susie. So we're gonna still, we're oh, yeah. hi, Susie. <laughs> hi Susie. Thank you for scheduling Pepper Chef cooking show with me. The host bonus for you. And um, it says, and, so that would be from Pam. Pam's our host that we booked her from. Hi Pam. Hi. <laughs> so you and Pam is awesome. And then that's where you could, Open up to your special for October and let them know that our exclusives are, you know, the rectangular baker, all the stoneware pieces. And then you're letting her know that Pam is going to be able to get a half price. So we need to change this verbiage because it used to be the host used to get this. So this is really, yeah. I will send a new one once I update this sucker. So it is um, the host. Um, so Pam is going to get a half off okay. at your party. Um, this is to confirm our show date as, and it's going to be, Monday, October 3rd um, at, I didn't put the time on there, so at 6.30 we'll say. Um, please call me and my phone number or email if you have any questions. I can't wait. I'm going to, be, um, it's going to be real fun and yummy, and it's a yummy time. Rocky created this, so thank you. Love you, Rocky. Um, so we are going to see that Rocky's name is in here quite a few times because she's the one that created it. Um, and it says, it's going to be a real fun and yummy time. Love, Rocky. P.S. 15 to 20 guests will ensure show success. 
And so that is something you just quickly send off. It's copy and paste. You could actually put all of this in an Evernote, and then that way you can quickly grab and copy and send it that way instead of trying to find it on your computer. Evernote you can grab from any device. Um, so now, once you've done that, just do a little check mark how you did it. If you did it by email, text, Facebook, or call, which way did you do it? And then now, once you've done that, go back to your 1 through 31 and go to the 29th and put it in the 29th. Ta-da! That's done. So when she responds back and says, yes, that date's great, that's when the 29th stays. Otherwise, she goes, oh my gosh, I forgot. It's our family reunion. Whatever, you know. So then you can go, oh my goodness. Okay, so what date um, is going to be better for you? Do you want to do it the day after? You want to do it, you know, whatever works. So then at that point, you're like, yeah, I know. <laughs> but then you have to edit these guys. So that's why pencil is so, so important. Use pencil when you do all these things. So now that's in the 29th. So then you go from the next one, date to remember, five weeks before. So the same outline, you're going to use this for every single host. Every host gets this outline. And then five weeks before, you're going to do the same thing. Email, Facebook, or text message. Hi, Susie. Date to remember for our um, Pamper Chef cooking show. And that's going to be top line. Tell your guests about your show now. Um, and the dates you're going to have to adjust based on which their show date is. Um, hand out or mail the invitation so you know that the invitations are going to be going out. Um, where is it at? Invitation reminder two weeks before. So that's September 19th. So you've got the dates that are going to go in there. They're written on the site. So you just have to change them in the verbiage on here. Um, Call and remind your guests that one is going to be done on the 29th of September. So you just change, change it down and then your show date is actually at 630 and it's show time. These dates are great to put in your phone. Um, it will keep you on track for a real sh fun show. I'll get your packet to you next week if you haven't already given it to her. So this is, you know, you just adjust if you did. I am so excited and can't wait. Love Rocky. P.S. And you're going to say this every time, drill it in their brain that we need to have 50 to 20 guests to ensure their success. Um, because once you have 50 or 20 saying yes, the day of three or so, we're going to say, I can't come now. So that's where you want to make sure that there's over invited or people say yes. So once that's done, then now the next call is going to be September 5th. So now you go to the fifth, you put that in. And then when you get to the fifth, finally, you're going to go to the next one. Um, packet call four weeks before send or drop off the packet and send letter from we used to use beta. This the website that we have now was once upon a time called our beta site. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, make a quick phone call or text before you make your packet, make their packet, and make sure one last time that this date is still okay. Um, so sticky note on the front of the packet. Hi Susie, I'll be in touch soon. You can start collecting outside orders from people who can't attend now. And then what goes in the host packet? So that is something um, kind of. Depends on if you want to do all those. If you don't, um, the host packet stuff that I like using is what the company is suggests is with that little postcard one, a, a cover letter, and the uh, recruiting information. So that's what I put in there. They actually add um, the custom order forms from the website, the outside order ones that have the guest special on it. You could print those if you like. Um, I prefer to email them and have them print them. Um, the guest specials, I also send those by email. But everything else looks pretty pretty formatted the same. So then you send that off or you have that already given to them. Um, so then again, go to the next call. Once that date gets there, you're going to three weeks before the first call. So now we're on a call. We haven't had a call yet. These have been text and Facebook messages and quick, quick things. So now that we have our first call, the host coaching checklist, um, I didn't put on the back of this. It's actually um, under the host coaching that we, we did. The one that has all the verbiage, not the one from the website. I like the verbiage one because it really helps me to make sure I get all the good details out to them. Because if you compare them, it just has a little quick checklist, yeah. which is similar. Yeah. I think it's one the company gives you. That's the one I prefer. Yeah. Because it tells me. I don't have to. Y'all, mm, because you can say set and confirm show date and time and location. I mean, you could just check off and just ask them questions. But mm -hmm. if you want to do some really deep digging and making sure they understand it, there's that kind of thing. The host coach checklist one that I will make sure is on there if it's not. The first call, um, review the packet and build excitement for the show. And so that's the first call because you're wanting them to have the best show they can. Always host coach to a $1,000 show. That's for every single host, no matter who it is, because they want to get the best out of their show. Typically, they'll have one show a year or one show in their life. So make it the best possible. So um, thank, for, um, thank her for hosting and set a confirmed show date. So you're continually making sure this date works. Um, because things come up, you know, I've, I've had shows before where 
someone was ill or they had a death in the family, you know, that's horrible, but things happen. So make sure that these dates are still good. Um, build her wish list is a second one. So building the wish list, this is what's going to ensure the thousand dollar party. So with that one, it says, oh, calling you. You can answer your phone. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to call Debbie. Ring, ring, ring. Hi, this is Debbie. Hi, Debbie. This is Shelly with Pamper Chef. Is now a bad time? Um, no, it's fine. I think it's fine. And I say that because most of the time they're like, no, it's not bad. Even if, if I say it's a good time, they're like, oh, well, I'm kind of, you know, in the middle of this and that. I'm like, no, 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 I say it's a bad time. Okay, so, because uh, people like to say no for some reason. They like to say no. No, it's, it's fine. So, okay, <laughs> so then um, these are when things, yeah, good. build a big wish list. Um, as you're going through, I'm going to help you. So I want to find out what things you're wanting to get. Um, what 10 products would you love to own? Oh my gosh, there's so many, especially with all the new products coming out. I like all the entertaining and, I love and the new deep covered baker too in the gray. The I color. really have the cranberry, but the gray is nice. Yeah, I would actually want to open shelf and just store right? it. They're so pretty. <laughs> um, and then with those, so which out of those items would you really like to save 50% on? Probably the deep covered baker. Deep covered baker. Okay. Was there anything else that you were buying that maybe is more that you want half off? Hmm. You know, Actually, I've been thinking about upgrading my pots and pans. Mm. And now's the time. Having a party, getting it half off, it's so smart. So, okay, so um, what I want you to do is, because these are really good products, but you're going to find you're going to be getting, because we're going to be getting you to a $1,000 party, you're going to be getting more things, so you're going to have to pick more. So awesome. I have a catalog in your packet for you, and okay. what I want to do now is I want to show you. I didn't bring it, and I should have brought it, but I actually would put on here Debbie's catalog in Sharpie big this is her oh, and cool. then I put it on our page today. it was 515.5 put that label right here 515.5 okay. and then you could put on here like um over invite or um invite everyone or something but this is her book that she's going to dog ear and circle and make this her love love book yeah, okay. this is her wish book so you can write on here um maybe just do it as Debbie's wish book you know oh, okay. instead of Debbie's catalog. almost like so. the Christmas yeah. You get the little, okay. You're when you were little, you got like mm -hmm. Toys R Us or what right. is it? The, <laughs> really young, it was like oh, the Sears, Sears catalog. Sears catalog. Oops, I dated right? myself. I was like, no, that's what I was thinking. The no, Sears, it was too. like big, it was huge. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you put like kids section. Yeah, uh -huh. Oh, I love that book. Okay. I know. But anyway, so this one you're gonna put two or three catalogs in there. One is going to be the host book, and this will be hers, and she gets it for okay. six months if she has a party now. She'll keep going to shows and bringing this, and you'll get to see this often. But give your host her own book. It okay. kind of makes it more special to her. Okay. Um, so now I want you to go through your catalog and circle anything you'd love to have in your home. Okay. Okay. So we got you that. Um, when you look around your kitchen, which tools would you like to add or replace? So open up drawers and look in cupboards okay. and what things were you, so as you're going through here, go through your kitchen also. And because if you're like looking at your colanders, you're like, they're kind of rusty and they're kind of bendy or whatever. So write down colanders. Or if you're going through and you're looking at your knives and they're like old and, so, you know, getting Bad. So look at knives and look at everything in your drawers and see what, what needs to be updated. So those are the things that are going to help you really kind of figure out your wish list. Okay. Does that help? It does. Okay, good. So um, we're, I want to talk to you a little bit about the host program because I know you're having a party. That's party because, and if you find out at the party they came from, why they want to have a party, um, a lot of people are doing it um, because Christmas shopping for the holiday now or they're wanting to get cookware for half price, or whatever it is, you can write down on the top of this checklist the reason for wanting to have a party. So then that way you can refer back to that when they're booking that. So okay. I wanna make sure that we have the best party ever. So I wanna show you the benefits that you're gonna to get to having a party. Okay, great. Okay, does that look good? All right, so the, the planner that we have is, and side little note, it's this hard covered one, you know, the, the folder one? You have these at home? Do you ever get these guys? No, you can them. print them off. I think I have them. Yeah, so th that's the host planner. So those are the old ones, yeah, those are. and these are the new ones, so check that one out. So this is what you're gonna go over with your host, is okay. the, the planner here. Um, and there is actually, oh wait, give me a second. The recruiting power phrases, a lot of these are gonna come into play while your host's coaching in here. So get familiar with this um, recruiting power phrases. Okay. So the five categories of host rewards, that is actually gonna be the, um, Okay, I have my little, oh, here we are. Okay, so the five categories of host coaching, the first one, um, of, course, of course, is the monthly special. So that's one of the things we go over is in, I emailed you the um, host special, which one did you like the best? And that one was the, where is it? 
Oh, it's up front. So that one is. I think it's one of the shallow bakers, right? Oh no, we're October. Yeah. So this one, you have the loaf pan, the shell bakers, the cookie sheet, the round stone, and the rectangular baker. Which one were you looking, getting your eye on? The rectangular baker. And it's gray. It's, it's gray. gray. So it's it the one you want. The yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So that one you'll be getting at 60%. So that's only 20 bucks. Awesome. It's twenty dollars and forty cents or something. Yes. Okay. So that's one of the um, host rewards that I'm, I want to make sure you were aware of. Um, the next one is um, if you grab your catalog, I want to show you on the back of it. So on your one that says you know Debbie's wish list. See on the back here, that one is um, going to coach you right now. Is it the little arrow over? It says get this item with 15 guests. Do you see that little arrow? I do. Okay. Yes. So that's the thousand dollar party line that I want you to, to focus on because okay. I want to make sure we get there for you. Um. So you're going to read it across for me. So if it's a thousand dollar party, how much do you get for free? $215. So that's why this wish book is really going to be important because you're going to have to really add up to getting that or more. Um, and then what is the half price that you're going to get? Five. Five. So you were talking about cookware, but yes. that's just one. <laughs> so oh my you're going to have to really, really be looking at what else you want. Um, and then after that one, then you have unlimited 30% off the rest of the catalog. Oh, so anything else you want. So that's why a really big wish list because I want to get you everything you want and even be thinking not just for yourself, but think about birthdays and weddings and Christmas coming up because now is the good time that at 30% off, that's better that you can get it you know, target or, you know, anywhere else like that. So now's the time to really get that um, with your party benefits. Okay. So that's one of the things I want you to focus on that one. But the other way that you can get a lot of fun stuff is when people book from your party. Um, so see right there, it says future rewards. Yes. Okay. So that one is save 50% on any item at your friend's parties when they book their own party. So, um, when you, um, in your packet, that one thing, the secret to have a thousand dollar show. Yes. Okay. So that one, if you pull that out, I want to just kind of go over that with you because this is how it's going to happen is you're going to be getting bookings before your show, before I even get there. Cause I have benefits for you and you don't have to do this. I like to, because I want them to be able to really get bookings for me. So when I walk into the show, I already have two or three bookings that I didn't even talk to them. A lot of times they're bookings from people out of state or they oh, can't come. So this is where if you cool. get one booking before I get there and you could pick the product, it could be a, you know, mix and chop. It could be, you know, whatever. So a uh, tool turnabout at their show. So these gifts are only given to them and they're ordered on their 10% off at the party that they're booking from. Um, so then if you get two bookings before I, I arrive, you're going to get a large cutting board at their party. And then the third person, you're going to be getting a trifle bowl at their show. So these are the extra little things I want you to be thinking about. So they get them at their show. Mm -hmm. Those are new books once they hold their once show. they hold their show okay. and they're closing it because okay. they get that 50% off item. Okay. Then they're getting 10% off everything else. And so it's just a booking benefit okay. because I didn't have to do the work. Yeah, <laughs> so, exactly. and a lot of times if they get a lot of parties like that, then I actually tell them, I'm like, do you see you already have three parties? Have, have you thought any more about doing what I do? Because you already got business right. and you're planning to go and order them anyways. Why not go and make money on them? So that, that's another little line I say later, but okay. that's what, how we go through this. And then, um, so that was one of the things. And then the other thing there is you get 10% off for a whole year after your party. So you're going to be going to, um, each party of course, but say that you go to, um, somebody's wedding shower and they're doing a pampered chef shower. Hopefully it's me doing it. <laughs> if not, you still get 10% off no matter whose party it is for a year. Okay. So that's one of the things that you, you know, you, you get. So I'm just wanting to make sure you knew everything that you get when you have a party because it's really, really, really incredible. And the last thing I want to talk to you about is the kit credit coupon, which is in your packet also. So this one I want you to pull out real quick so that way you can see what I'm talking about. Um, it's actually kit credit coupon. Oh, oh. Um, but that one is um, start your business. It, you could get twenty five or fifty dollars off of your kit. And so with that, I, you know, have you ever thought of doing something like Pampered Chef? Well, I've thought about it. And what did you think? I I just don't know if I have time to do it. And that's that's good because that way you're going to see how we're doing this party. You can kind of see how it works as being a host. So um, if I can help you figure out how you can fit this in your life. We could talk about that and maybe this could be your show. So we'll talk more about that, but I just wanted to kind of ask now and then that way as you go through, we can go through. And side note, she's having a party. She's not expecting to be a consultant right away. So just plant that seed um, unless she goes, yeah, I want to do it. And then you're like, okay, then let's get you signed up now and this will turn into your party. If they're excited, <laughs> if they're like, eh, 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 eh. okay, you've got three more phone calls and texts and things to really okay. still connect with them. So don't overwhelm them and scare them away right away so okay. with that um because she's like mm, i don't know maybe 
So then you're like, okay, I want you to look at this because you can actually use some of your benefits to get one of those kits for less. Oh, so, and then okay. the kit, if you look in your catalog on the inside back cover, right. um, that way you could see which one you like better. So which one is more appealing to you? Oh, wow. Oh, the, the Ultimate Kit has a lot of products with it. Yeah, you see it has the grill pan and the press, and it's got the it's stone, done. and it's got the, oh my gosh, the Everyday Rock Crock. It's got like wow. everything. So that is one that, look, at, it's $249. You can get it for um, $199. Wow. So that is something to really, really consider. So I'm going to make sure you kind of ponder on that, okay. and we're going to revisit it. But for now, just look it over, yeah. and then think about it, and then we okay. will talk more about that. But unless you have questions now, that I can help you with. Um, no, I, I will, I'll consider it. Okay. I'll, I'll, perfect. Perfect. Okay. So I want you to be thinking about that. Okay. Um, but one of the other things is the, um, and so when I did those five things, they're actually considered on here. So discuss monthly specials, um, over invite. That's the next okay. thing is build the big wish list. This first call is always longer. The rest okay. of them are a lot shorter, but this one is really getting the goal set for the show. Okay. It's really building that relationship that we're working together to make sure the show is really good. Um, and then you have the verbiage to the right of this. So take a peek at the guest list in the cooking planner that I gave you, which is the back cover of that hard thing. Yes. yes. Right there. Hold this. So in, on your packet, on the back, it has 40, top 40 invite list. And so what's really nice about that is um, you can write down everybody you want. But the one thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't give you the ideas like, like 40 guests in four minutes do. So a lot of times you can put that flyer in their packet. Um, do you know what that one is? The 40 guests in four minutes? Do you know what that one is? I think I see that one. Yes, I see that. See that one? Okay, so this one is the one that actually is also in your recipe for success, right? Is that where it's from? Okay, so that is the same thing. You can print that right from the computer because with this, it gives them um, friends, neighbors, relatives, coworkers, holiday greeting okay. card list. That makes sense. Digital contacts because I would think that I would get a lot saying I don't know I don't know 40 people, people. and they're like it eh, there's six seven eight people in there you're like oh gosh you're, you're not gonna have a good show but you don't want to say that but you want to say okay 40 guests and so pull out this sheet and I want you to fill this out okay because that helps them their brain now not right. go I don't know wow I now, don't you know. Do. now you do now you do so that helps them really visualize who they can uh, ask so okay so then you go through um, who comes to mind right away and then could we take a few minutes now to come up with additional names? Because um, with this, maybe they came up with 12 or 15. And now, okay, so let's think of other people. And now you can go through that list with them again and kind of dig a little deeper. Mm -hmm. um, you really can't invite too many people because usually only a third to a half are able to come. Those who can't come often want to place an order. Um, be sure to let everyone know they can bring a friend. Meeting new people makes the show that much more fun. And then a side note, the people that come are the ones that book the shows and order the most. Okay. In, his, in, in my experience, that's what typically happens. They're the most excited because they're coming as a friend. And it's, ah. um, so invite 40, ask them to bring a friend. And I, a lot of times, will give the incentive. It's if they bring a friend, I'll give them a gift. It's a season's best or it's a hand scraper or a twist clip or something. It's just a little, little something. Um, mix the crowd. Meeting new people makes the show more fun. Explain the importance of calling people to invite them personally. So that personal touch. Um, instead of just doing a mass Facebook invite, that's kind of like driving on the freeway and you see one of those boards on the side of the road, you know, something's coming. You're like, oh, great. That's nice to know. That's kind of like what Facebook event is. It's just letting you know. It's not inviting anybody really. It's just an advertisement for it. So that's when an instant message works. That's when um, texting, phone calling, emailing, that personal connection, it's, it's, it's personal to them. Okay. And that makes them want to come. Um, and a lot of times I just um, tell them that I, you know, I'm having this party and I really want you to be there. Now they're like, oh, that's okay. <laughs> so instead of just saying, hey, I'm having a party at this date and this date and this date, that little extra is I really want you to be there. I know you like to entertain. I know you like to cook. And let them think about why they'd want them to be there. Okay. Maybe that'll make it a little easier. Okay. So then determine the method of invitation. So some people, I, I mean, I've had many parties and they don't want those postcards invitations. They don't want them. So I have them, and they're old now. But those postcard invitations, if they want them, of course, that would go in the packet. I have them with me at my shows, and their packet sometimes just goes home without it. So I've got the yeah. same packet now for six months in there. So okay. if they like the invitations, give them to them. And tell them, do not give these back to me. You know, I want you to make sure you put them in your purse, and you give them to people as you see them. I want you to mail some out to people that you don't see and get rid of all of them. 
that's your goal is to get rid of all 40 of them. Um, and that's where that list is going to come in handy. Um, and discuss the details of the show, where you'll set up, and the length of demo. So um, this is something that uh, I've, <laughs> it's a good point to have. It seems silly to ask this, but I actually showed up to a show one time where I had to be on my knees on the coffee table because they did not have a table in their house. Wow. They sat at their couch and ate dinner there. They didn't have a dining room table. <laughs> so really? I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my <laughs> From now on, oh, I'm like, wow. I'm asking where we're sitting at. Okay. So that's, that's just that's my why this thing does help trust me because it doesn't allow things. you you think you assume and you get there like wow <laughs> you know <laughs> whoops i yep. really should have asked that yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay so find out where you're setting up. a lot of people have the island like you know like this so they mm -hmm. have an island you can set up on dining room table oh, my house is too small i was thinking we could do it outside whatever works so just find out where you're planning to be um and the demo lasts about an hour so that way people are there maybe two hours. Um, the payment method that you don't necessarily have to go over that right now, but if people are ordering outside, I would prefer them write the check to the host and the host use her um, debit card or something before the show. Or okay. if it's Facebook party, especially you don't want checks written to you. You want them to go to the host and she can use her card. Um, but that's one of the things is these are MasterCard Discover and Metric Express would take them all. So that's the best thing is when people do their orders, just have them use her card. That's the easiest thing. Um, take a look at the business material. We did that. So that's why this is a little older. Oh no, that's what we did. We had you go through that. Um, yes. Flyer. So there is actually the discover. Okay. This is kind of my special point right now. Is it that flyer? <laughs> so I'm like, okay, did you see the life tastes great flyer? Oh, yes. Did you notice anything inside? <laughs> and then they're like, no, what is it? I'm like, open it up. And then they look at like, do you see me? I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So that's me. Right. <laughs> so I'm like, look, I'm famous. You're having a party with someone famous. <laughs> They're like, aha, yes, that's funny. But so that way, this is more information because I know I asked if you, you know, had ever thought about it. Mm -hmm. Um, you've got that kit credit coupon, but this is also more information here that you can just read up on and really kind of make an informed decision for yourself. So that's why it's in there for you. So read, okay. read more about that. And then the last thing, oh, I lost my page. And the last thing I want to do is um set up our next time. We're gonna call. Um, so. I have our next call scheduled for, oh, what's our next date? I put it away, oh yeah. So our next call is going to be on the 26th of September. Um, and that way you have it on there. Okay. And you're gonna say is, you know, is this the same time kind of good for you? Do you like it in the evening, more in the morning? Are you, you know, do you work? Find out what time and put that time in there. Okay. And so now you're gonna go ahead and now you've done that. So you're gonna put this now in the September 19th. So you're gonna end the call. It was so good talking to you, I'm really excited. We're gonna have a great party. Um, so now just really talk it up, get everybody invited, everybody excited about this. Are okay. you excited? I am, Yay. I'm so excited. All right, so make sure, you, huge wish list, and as soon as you have it down, you can even send me some pictures of what you like, or send me a list, or you can okay. go on the website and actually put it all in there if you like. Oh, okay. So that's one fun little thing. So Okay, so I am excited, we will be chatting soon. Okay, that sounds great. Thanks, bye. Bye. Okay, so that's the first call, then you go down to the next one, it just goes right through. So you're gonna work this just like that. Put it the next date, when you get to the next one. Invitation reminder, two weeks before, um, recipes. And that's where the recipe, if you're on their website party, you can actually click on the recipe and send them the ingredient list right there. Um, that's where, then I send a little message after that. Make sure to not prep anything. Just buy it and we'll do it together. So that's one of the ways you can actually get around that is I sent you on email the recipe ingredient list because that way she'll know to go look and then just say, just make sure you don't prep anything. We're going to do it all together. It's just a quick little thing after that. So if you want to write a little note in here that you do that um, with the ingredient list, it just will help you to remember. Um, okay. Then you're going to go to the two, the call two, and then on and on and on. So that's how you're going to be using this binder okay. is you're going to get all the way down and you're going to use everything. So I just thought, how easy is that now, right? And it doesn't allow you to forget anything. And everything's all, all together in the all same organized. place. Okay. This is, this is totally gonna work. It's gonna yeah. work. And because if you do you're it, not everywhere thinking, and you're not trying to reinvent the wheel, what about this, what about that? Right, done. Done. here. It's like you're thinking, I saw something on Facebook here, I saw yes, something in this exactly. team here, We're and then I'm going up and down the, and right. Yeah, yeah. This and so is now everything. having it all in one place, here. you don't have to go looking. I mean, you can, of course, if you see something you really love, incorporate it in the binder. Okay. Just print it once. When you find it that you like it, print it, put it in the right category here, so that way you can utilize it later. But 
it's just one quick grab that you can do all of this. Um, and so that's, that's the main thing. And the other thing that I wanted to, um, where did it go, is with your binder. Here's another thing you can use this 10, 1 through 31 for, is say you have a doctor's appointment, you can put in that date, put a little note of a doctor's appointment that day. Or you have some follow-up phone calls to make. Um, you can take um, the door price slips, and you can tape them to a, a piece of paper and, three, and put it in that date to follow up with people. So you can really utilize this uh, for the whole business. You have a recruiting um, interview. You can put it on the day before that you can text them and make sure that you, you know, are we still on for tomorrow's meeting? Or, so this could be for your life. And yeah, it's like a day yeah, It's a day mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that's one thing is um, use it. You're going to have it now forever. So make it to your advantage. So you have it for life, for business, for whatever. And it's going to be good. And especially when you start recruiting, because people, people are excited about doing Pamper Chef with us. So you have recruiting interviews coming up, or you have um, a coaching call with someone. Put that in there. Um, you have a meeting coming up. Put that in there. So every morning you open up to that date. So the, the main thing is it's something new. And so anything new takes some time to become a habit of doing. So I want to challenge you guys. Put this on your desk. Put this out so you see it every day and start using it because it did. It's gonna get. It's you know. It's it's different. You're gonna want to revert to old habits. But if you get into a good habit, and this is a good habit, is that that way you open it up to what's today the the, the eighth, and you open it up to the eighth, and you're like, okay, today you've got three things in there to do. So now you in the morning can either plan when it's gonna happen, right. uh, remind yourself, and you could even if you want. Uh, well, I don't know if iPhones do it. My my Droid, I can text people. And at night, when I'm just sitting there, I can do the text up and schedule it to go out. See, that's yeah, our iPhone, so nah. they don't do that. Go to Droid. I, <laughs> I know. <laughs> See, that's what I've always wanted to check out, too. And I guess yeah, I probably, I I'm Droid. Can. So, uh, we can do it. Okay. Droid, how do you do schedule it? it? I just don't know how to delay it. You okay. Delay oh, maybe it's just different verbiage. Because mine's schedule, yours might be delayed. Maybe yeah. in the new seven that we need to get. Yeah, yeah that just came out today. I saw that message. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Already? Like the number? Okay. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Oh, side note. When you have Facebook parties, because a lot of us are doing virtual parties, that ever. I, I wanted to go over the cooking show because a lot of people still have more cooking shows than they do virtual. So I wanted to do that type of thing. But doing the virtual party, um, the outline's here too. You just do the same exact thing. So you have, um, with the one that's the longer looking one, it has once booked, friend the host on Facebook and create their show in Consultants Corner. So if they book the party, they're already created. Um, and with this one, you start with the um, show date and work backwards. You know how you do that type of thing? Um, show confirmation. This is two weeks ahead. So now you've got a different outline because um, there is another outline that says booking binder Facebook system. Two weeks show confirmation. So this is the, the same thing you're going to do but with Facebook shows because you're going to host coach them just like you do cooking shows. It's no different because they're still a host. <laughs> but now you've got people in your team you can go to. And so with this guy, now you're going to just do the same thing, backdate everything, and you put it in the same order. So when it says send the packet, you're still going to send them a host packet because they're still going to collect orders just like any other, any other cooking show would. Outside orders from people that aren't on Facebook, people they see at work, people, things like that. So they're still going to collect orders. Their call number one, it's, it's a little different. So you're going to see that their call one, um, it's done by the Facebook message. So it's, um, thank you for scheduling your Facebook show with me. The host bonus for you and whoever they booked from is awesome. This confirms uh, that it's going to run from the 1st to the 11th. Watch the pa uh, for your packet in the mail the next few days. Call me at the number and or Facebook message me. Um, if you have any questions, I can't wait. I'm going, it's going to be a real fun show. Love Rocky. P.S. 30 going Facebook guests will ensure show success because that's their main goal is to get 30 going, right? Because if 30 are going, they're seeing the posts. Okay. So then you go on and you go on and you do your call two, your call three, things to remember. And so all of this stuff, their messages that are in there, set up their Facebook event um, two days before. So you're going to actually, the, the date on Facebook, just a little side, because a lot of you are new to this, the date of the Facebook event is the date it's going to start, not the pre-post. Okay. So the date the party is going to start running for those, for everybody else, 
is the date that Facebook is because they can see it ahead of time. Yeah. But the reminders and things like that aren't going to go up till the party starts. So that way you have those dates. So if it starts on the first, you know, the party runs on the first, you're going to backdate that two, three days to start doing pre-posts so that the party runs for those dates. Oh, yeah. so you want to send, so you want to let people, you want to send it out and say your party's on the 10th. But you want to put the event starts on the 7th. No, on the 10th. On the 10th. But the 7th is when you start doing pre-posts. Yeah. So if you're going to start your parties on the, the 1st and the 20th or 1st and the 15th or whatever date you want to choose, um, the day that it starts, because it runs for 7 days or 10 days. The day in the calendar of the Facebook. Yeah. So when you're on the show date that starts, mm -hmm. that's going to be the day that the first party date starts, not pre-posts. Does that make sense? We're having the pre-post is actually um, things um, that is, we're getting ready for the party. Make sure you're oh, going. The host is like going to be. When you, when you says, what's on your mind? Mm -hmm. And you put, put that on there? Oh, and you share it on your, on your phone? Like, watch, I'll show you. Okay, so if you guys are needing more assistance on Facebook, make sure you call your director or your recruiter, and we'll help you through with the Facebook events. Um, but that is something, the pre-posts are something that you're working to get people going before the party starts. So the host is doing her... Um, Make sure to come. Outside orders. We're going to do a drawing before the party so starts. You're doing and it stuff. to the host, and the host. Yeah. Will it. Okay. So then you've got those going. Make hosts on Facebook event one day before, um, because you've got it pre-posted. Now you've got everything ready. So when the host is in there, now there's already things that she can read and see. Same with the guests. So once they start getting invited, there's already posts that they can read. It's not like it's gotcha. a blank yes. page. Um, when you read on here, it says group host coaching. A lot of people are doing two, four, six posts at one time, starting the same days of the month. Mm -hmm. And keep it consistent. Start the first and the 20th and always do that. So when they are now at the 10th of the month and they want to start a Facebook party, say, okay, would you like to start on the 20th or would you like to start on the first of next month? And so those are the dates that you start. You don't want to start them sporadically because then it keeps your party posts. If you have eight going, they're getting yeah. the exact same post at the exact same time. So all you have to do is go in and comment and, and answer questions. Okay. Pre-party day one, um, DHPR is the um, the host. Um, they're called the. Oh, my brain just shut off. Um, you know what are the daily host host recommendations. <laughs> Say it again. Daily host host recommendations. Thank right? you, Mary. You're welcome. Yes. Okay. So those ones. Those you actually text or Facebook message to the host and say, copy and paste this to the Facebook event. Because okay. if they are from the host and they are a post, it goes to everybody that's invited, not just the ones going. Probably. So everybody sees those. If you post it, it only goes to the ones that are going. So okay. not everybody sees them. And if the host comments or likes, it only goes to that post, anybody that's on that post. It doesn't go to everybody. So make sure okay. that she's, she, it's fine for them to comment and post, but her main, or comment and like, but her main thing is to post, and it's a daily thing. Okay. Um, because you're working this as a party. Um, and it, I, I heard this, I don't remember who said it, but it's hilarious, actually. Mm -hmm. So when someone has a Facebook party, think of it as this, and this is how you're going to help them to understand they need to be involved, is you don't have a, a party at your house. And invite everybody over and say, welcome, I'm so glad you guys are here. It's going to be so much fun. And then you go to your bedroom and you stay there for the whole party. So, and then they're like, where'd she go? What's happening? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of what it happens when the host doesn't post. <laughs> so they kind of just are just flailing and not knowing what's going on. Yeah. Who, who's doing, yeah. So the daily host recommendations is something that is um, on that page. And you just open it up and you copy, paste, send it as a text. There's pictures sometimes with it. And that's what the host just say. Just put this on the page for us today. And then they get to go do that. And so that's a daily thing for the seven days. Um, and then you do an early bit drawing and those kind of things. So all of this is on there. The first the full service checkout calls after the party is over. That's why those are in here. That's why I wanted you to print them so that you have the words to do your full service checkout afterwards. So that, this is the same thing as the last one. You date it back and you go all the way to the bottom. Um, and then on one of the posts at the very end, did everything come out? come in okay. And this is after it was submitted because people are still on that party. Um, so anybody that was going can still see this. And if they ordered, you can tag them all in it um, and just did everything come in okay on that party. And so that way they're like, yes, thank you. I'm so excited. I already made this and this and this. So you'll see people still commenting on there. So that was how you do the Facebook ones. It's the same as the cooking. It's just a little bit different verbiage 
and it's more, um, there's not much, uh, there's more like Facebook and texting. Uh, the calling is a little more minimal. Okay, so, ah, there we go. Let's put these back in order. So did that help you guys? Yes. yes. Uh, everybody is muted. Thumbs up for those that are on computer. <laughs> All right, you guys. So um, if you have more questions about this, please, please ask. Um, but I want you guys to please, if you haven't put it together yet, finish putting it together. Um, and then that way, sorry, then that way we will all have this and work together from this. And so um, if you guys find something you love that you want to share it, put it on that group page so we can all see it and utilize it and help from there. Um, make sure you guys are tracking your trips because that is exciting that we're all going to earn that. Um, but any questions, ladies? Anything you have? Oh, look at that. You printed it. Okay, backtrack a little. Um, daily host post recommendations. See, this is it. And it tells you post one, two, three, four, five, all the way down. So all they do is copy and, you copy and paste and post these. So they're already done for you. You don't have to think of anything. It's already done. So we have amazing people in our company that share and love us and want everybody to succeed. And that's what we do here with Tess Team is we want everybody to grow and do well. Um, I'm done. Yay! Yay. Thank you, Shelly. You're welcome. Yay. You're welcome. All right, you guys, go back and review. I know it went quick, but I want to have you guys really, really use this and get used to it and good habits. All right, guys, take care. Bye.